Hey guys, Jane here from Jane Lambo. I'm excited about the things I'm going to share with you today. Let's start now. Here we got a heavy package. Guess what we have received? Yes, they are the metal parts for building our prototypes of J1. This is the second version of our prototype. Here in total, we've made three sets since we are going to conduct many tests on them. Every part is made so nicely, just can't wait to put them together. So without further ado, let's do it now. Here it is, the machine body of j Lobo J1. Designing a product is a process of constantly thinking, verifying, making trade-offs, and achieving the best balance. For the frame of the machine, we have three main considerations. Functionality, appearance, and the cost. Functionality comes first. The rigidity of the machine body will influence the accuracy of the printed object as it carries the XYZ motion system and the rigidity of the machine body greatly depends on the structure and material of the frame. So we opt for the more complete machine body instead of the classic I3 structure. We think that making the machine body rigid is not enough, as the 3D printer will be a part of our creative space. We want it to be in consistent with the aesthetic appearance of our computers and other devices on the desktop. So we choose metal over plastic for the frame material. Since stainless steel is too heavy, which will add a huge cost to the shipping, while the aluminum alloys offer a more efficient choice and also meets various demands such as a durable surface appearance, good formability, low weights, and high strength. So we choose aluminum alloys as the frame material. We could apply a unibody design and use precision CNC machining for every process in producing this machine. Why we did it? Since the manufacturing cost would be extremely high in this way, and it could not be controlled in an affordable cost in the mass production. That's why we use the beam structure for the machine body to ensure its mechanical properties can meet our demands, we combine the aluminum extrusion and precision CNC machining process in producing the beams. We want it looks more friendly and comfortable, so we made it with large curved edges instead of the typical right angle edges. For the color and the surface finishing, we have tried four colors and two types of processes. The silver one can deliver a message of friendliness and the polished surface make us feel very comfortable and we just can't help but touch and stroke the printer again and again. Our last concern is the possible errors during the assembling of the structure that might reduce the rigidity of the machine body. We didn't choose the commonly used metal beams on the market since their assembly position accuracy could not meet our needs. Then we designed a special V-shaped group for the aluminum profile. With the V-shaped group assisted positioning, workers can easily align these two profiles in an accurate angle and assemble them properly. Everything considered, we made this rigid machine body. This prototype is very close to what we want and it only needs a little final polishing before the pilot's production. We love it, and we hope you will enjoy using it as well. Let's continue to discuss this in our Facebook group. Thanks for watching, see you next time, and I can't wait to show you the core feature of this machine, the independent dual extruder system. Bye bye.